Welcome to this video tutorial on installing the EVOS M3000 imaging system. This video should contain everything you need to get started. The system will arrive in a large box with the accessory kit in the top of the foam packaging. Remove this kit and set it aside. Remove the foam from around the system and lift the system from the box by grabbing the condenser arm with both hands. Place the system on a stable surface away from vibrating equipment and direct light sources. Once the system is out of its packaging, collect the appropriate accessories for installation. Some are required, while others are optional but included in this video. In order of appearance, these accessories include a power cord, universal power supply, USB Wi-Fi dongle, objectives, light cubes, mechanical stage, stage plate insert, and clip-on light shield. Before installing any accessories or powering on the system, the light cube shipping restraint and blank light cube must be removed. To do this, unscrew the light cube tool from above the plastic shipping restraint. The shipping restraint will come out freely. To remove the blank light cube, loosen the screws in the top of the blank and lift it out by screwing the light cube tool into the top. Keep the shipping restraint and blank light cube in case you need to move the system in the future. The light cube tool can be kept in the indent on the side of the system. Retrieve the power cord and universal power supply. Insert the cord into the power supply and plug the cord into an outlet. The power input port is located in the back of the system. Once installed, power on the system by flipping the power switch. Wait for the system to start up. Upon the first startup, you will be presented with a series of configuration settings, beginning with the end user license agreement. After agreeing to this license, you will have the option to connect the system to a local network using the USB Wi-Fi dongle. Plug the dongle into a USB port in the back of the system to locate a local network. Select a network from the drop-down. If required, you will need to enter a password to connect. You can then connect to a network drive with the drive location, username, and password. Configure the local date and time. In addition to being displayed on the system, these settings will affect the default file names given to captured images and video. Choose your cloud region and whether or not to upload telemetry data. If installing an objective bundle, such as AME P5010 shown in this video, the configuration is pre-populated. If installing individual objectives, choose custom and locate the objective by its magnification and catalog number. Remove an objective from its case by first unscrewing the clear plastic cover. Then remove the cap from the bottom of the objective. Install the objective by reaching through the hole in the stage plate and screwing it into the objective turret until hand tight. Repeat this for any other objectives. The turret position with blue lettering is the active position directly below the stage. Select the objective in this position and rotate the turret to locate the position of any other objectives being installed. If installing light cubes, select the position you would like to install a cube. There are on-screen instructions that can help with the process. Retrieve a light cube for installation and screw the light cube tool into the top of the cube. Lower the cube into the system behind the objective turret with the sticker right side up facing forward. Screw in the two screws in the top of the cube using the light cube tool. Select Done to finish installation.
If installing a mechanical stage, there are on-screen instructions that can help you with the process. Start by retrieving the 3mm hex key that comes with the mechanical stage. Use it to remove the three screws holding the stage plate to the system. Once the screws have been released, remove the stage plate. Locate the two new screw holes on the bottom of the plate. Retrieve the mechanical stage and insert these two screw holes below the screws in the mechanical stage. Tighten the screws to the stage plate using the same 3mm hex key. Once attached, place the stage plate back on the system in its original orientation. Replace the three screws you removed at the beginning and tighten until hand tight. The mechanical stage allows for easy XY movement of vessels and EVOS vessel holders on the stage. You can review all the settings you have selected in the settings summary. Once advancing past this page, you will need to access the settings window to change any settings in the future. To complete system installation, place the stage plate insert into the opening above the objectives. Attach the orange UV light shield to the condenser light shield and clip the shield to the condenser above the stage. You are now ready to start using your EVOS M3000 imaging system.